ABC News reported a crime surge Wednesday, in 12 major cities, but did not note that all 12 cities are Democrat-controlled. ABC News report opens with, at least 12 major U.S. cities have broken annual homicide records in 2021, and there's still three weeks to go in the year. Of the dozen cities that have already surpassed the grim milestones for killings, five topped records that were set or tied just last year. What ABC News did not mention is that the cities mentioned in the report are all Democrat-controlled cities. The report touches on, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Austin, Texas. Chicago, Illinois. Los Angeles, California. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. New York City. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Portland, Oregon. Rochester, New York. St. Paul, Minnesota. Toledo, Ohio. Tucson, Arizona. It does not mention they are all Democrat-controlled. The report noted specifically, Philadelphia, a city of roughly 1.5 million people, has had more homicides this year, 521 as of December 6, than the nation's two largest cities, New York, 443 as of December 5, and Los Angeles, 352 as of November 27. That's an increase of 13% from 2020, a year that nearly broke the 1990 record. Chicago, the nation's third largest city, leads the nation with 739 homicides as of the end of November, up 3% from 2020, according to Chicago Police Department crime data. Chicago's deadliest year remains 1970 when there were 974 homicides. Four other cities, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Louisville, Kentucky, were also mentioned in the report, as they also surpassed their 2020 homicides numbers this year. Baton Rouge, Columbus, Indianapolis, and Louisville are Democrat-controlled as well. The ABC News report says, experts say there are a number of reasons possibly connected to the jump in homicides, including strained law enforcement staffing, a pronounced decline in arrests and continuing hardships from the pandemic, but that there is no clear answer across the board.